Right, something slightly different this week. Um, we're in Cumbria, where we live. Um, we had storms last night, which has uh, caused havoc. So we've got no power. So in the house, there's no uh, uh, electric. We've just got the fireless. And basically, we're going to have to cook ourselves a meal. And we're going to try out our Indian Prakti uh, cooking stove, which basically uses wood to cook. And they, it used them in India. So in fact, it's come from India. So we're going to see how we get on cooking our tea on our wood stove. Stay with us. So Mrs. M is uh, cooking our ingredients by candlelight. It's hardcore. We have lit the stove. I know you can't see it too well. But... Um, and that basically what you do is the with the flame to come through the top that cooks it like it uses a hundred percent of the heat and the one on the left uses like 30 percent so we're just going to dig out our pan and start cooking in a minute see how we get on so we've got our pan on our wood stove and we've got we're going to have mince and potatoes and veg a bit of a stew type of thing we'll see how we get, get on there we go. Cooking away. Cooking away. This is what it was like back in 1974 uh, when we had an electric strike, so we had to. I don't think you had an Indian cooker then. No, but we had a. Just to fight this everything. No one likes a clever dick, do they? A quick update. Uh, Of the stew, bubbling away nicely. Hopefully, at some point, we'll get uh, a hot meal tonight. Right, here we are now. Whoa, look at that! Uh, I think the veggies could be done. Have to take, take one of them in. Let's get some this doing it or something. Top the water, I think, before we go in. Right, the time has come for this. Oh, look at that. We're gonna. Are you putting cocaine in? Oh no, there's Bisto. Bisto in. Give it a stir in a. Oh, clockwise and anti clockwise controversial. Uh, but this is the first hot meal we've had all day. <laughs> I think both of us could survive without food for a day. That's a bit rude, isn't it? Oh, look, the potatoes are falling apart. Perfect. I think we leave that to thicken up a little bit. And then we are done. So, and the woods, we just let that burn off. Practic is the name. Oh, there we go. It's going in, it's going in. Smell cam says, mmm, good. Wow, look at that. Not our usual standard, but from ad libbing not too bad that's one done right. taking hot meal when we've got a power cut is not too bad because we're not posh we haven't got an arger or anything else that cooks and heats everything. So I think that's pretty good. Yeah, Just make sure put the lid back on. Okay. Keep it hot. Right, day three of uh, no power and the crack tea stove is getting some um, use. Um, 
the fact when we did part one, I must admit, I did think it would be a novelty and a bit of fun. But now, uh, 72 hours later, nearly, we're still cooking on it. So I've put Chris's tea, or Mrs. M. I've put her, she's been next door to get a proper meal for a change. And Bert, me and Bert are cooking tonight's tea. So we'll try and keep you posted. Okay, so quick update. Let's put the onions on in that pan to season well. Our carrots, potatoes and things are bubbling away nicely. Obviously, with no adults being in the house tonight, I decided to assist the cooking process with a nice rice beer, which is very pleasant. Uh, but everything's going well. But as I said before, I think the novelty is starting to wear off. It's starting to get like 1974 all over again but yeah hey ho it's the worst things in the world we're just going to get a hot meal tonight so the next exciting phase has started the sausage from our excellent local butchers has been added we put some curry seasoning into the vegetables we have curry vegetables with our sausages we're just starting to cook them off now get stopped too far i'm starting to get the hang of the old uh, wood stove, went to put stuff on and try and moderate the heat or regulate the heat. Um, it's all right in process but it's not too bad to be fair. Right, okay, um, I've added the cooked sausages now to the curry vegetables and we'll let that simmer for a course now so hopefully Mrs Emma will be home and she'll get the uh, deluxe meal cooked on John and Ros's I'll get next door because I thought it wasn't wor worth risking uh, food poisoning, cooking a lamb shank on this, not with my level of cooking. I don't mind poisoning myself, but not the boss. So it's all going well. I will uh, see you at next when it's getting ready to serve, hopefully. Right, um, in the kitchen now, I've got the Sausage and curried vegetables out, and I've got that's so much vegetables, I've got an extra dish, and I'm looking forward to it. So, hopefully, tomorrow the electric will come on, but I'm sure it won't. Um, but who knows? Uh, we might be having a continuation to this vlog by uh, tomorrow night's cooking. Thanks for watching. Well, um, day four of our romantic look back into. 1974 as they say and I'm sure you'll be not surprised to see I am still sitting in the dark I've got a, a little lamp a battery lamp beside me and a torch uh, next to me uh, and that are just candles um, I will try and show you uh, a little bit of the room but basically all we've got is campfire candles and a myriad of plastic lights and things that I've managed to light up and uh, keep us going but um yeah we're still in the dark so uh, stay tuned while we decide what we're gonna do about food and cooking tonight um uh, it's it starts off with a romantic uh, look into 1974 so to speak and it's now leaning towards the winter of discontent <laughs> uh, for those who are old enough to remember all that caper um so stay tuned folks for the next update Well, obviously, I magically cooked uh, a chicken biryani, and it was really good. How it looked like I just got it from the takeaway, but uh, I assure you, I cooked it all myself. No, no, I didn't make really. that be a complete lie. Um, if you believe that, I could have a career in politics. I think all that and uh, nonsense I've just said. No, I finally give in after three days of um, cooking on a little stove. I thought, you know what? Instead of using the Indian stove tonight, I'll have a nice, beautiful Indian meal cooked by. Uh, at the local Indian takeaway, which is about a, an hour's round trip there and back in Aldrin, but it was really good. Um, so hopefully that will be the this will be the end of our candlelight adventures and our nostalgic Mickey taking on nineteen seventy four, as you say. The electric is supposed to be on tomorrow, but who knows? Let's hope so. Uh, I'm sure Mrs M would say that like normality resumed. I must admit I'm longing a bit for. YouTube and things like that. 
so it'd be really good if we got the internet back at some point and the electric on tomorrow would be a start. So I hope you've enjoyed this tongue-in-cheek fun video for this week of what we've been getting up to. Uh, if you've your first time to this channel, please like or subscribe and join our growing channel and having a good time and enjoying ourselves. And to our regular subscribers, thank you very much. We love your support. It means really a lot to us. And Hi, and welcome to... Uh, Day seven of our 1974 nostalgic period of without electricity. Um, last couple of days, no posts really, because not much to update. Um, because nothing's been going on. We've been basically sitting with no electric. Um, and we've been out for our meals each night because we've just got fed up with cooking in the dark and the cold. Uh, the unpleasant task for today, um, is going to unpack our freezer of all that food that we paid for and bought and that's now gone to waste because it's uh well it's, it's gone off because the, 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 the fridge or freezer is uh, defrosted um so that's what we're doing at the moment i have spoken to two chaps who are ironically from the manx electric Co board or manx electric company um that they've been drafted in to help repair the wires and they said they're going to make a start later today this is this morning later today and hopefully we'll get electric at some point so who knows but um unfortunately at the moment uh, as i say i've got to throw all this food out which is an awful shame and a waste hello and welcome to yet uh the latest update from day seven of our 1974 tribute uh, it's not all bad news we took all that food to the tip before but great news some people from the electric company put come by and give us a torch check it out and there's not only is a, a torch it's two options and it's magnetic and i'm pleased to say quite bright and we can use it to open up a present i think i know what it is and it's going to be quite fun because you know Today has been a bit crap, but it's always good to get presents, and I think I know what it is. Having said it wouldn't arrive till the 4th of Jan. Well, it's all been bad news today, as we said, a parcel's arrived, and I thought I'd share it with you, because it was a mess of excitement to run all day, and it's a Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends train set with glow-in-the-dark track. I'm sure, granted, I mean, uh, the wee man will enjoy it tremendously. So, when I find the scissors and the cell tape, I'll wrap this for the little fella. It does say plus three, but he's nearly three, so that's, that's near enough, isn't it? Granddad speak? Oh, yes. Hi and welcome to uh, the last update from day seven. Uh, it's just short of six hours from exactly a week ago when the electric went off. And as you can see, the Thames Cuneo print behind me is lit up by the modern fangled device, electricity. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, tongue-in-cheek look back at what we've been doing to amuse ourselves and eat and stuff this week. Um, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next week.